In this video, we're going to talk about osteoarthritis and a potentially exciting recent development in the treatment of osteoarthritis, exosomes. We're going to talk about what exosomes are, where they come from, how they might work in osteoarthritis, and how effective they appear to be in early studies. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Now, please understand, in this video, I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. Before we talk about why exosomes could potentially be helpful for you and your arthritic hip or knee, we have to discuss what osteoarthritis actually is. The majority of doctors and orthopedic surgeons believe that osteoarthritis is a wear and tear process occurring after a major injury like a torn ACL or over a long period of time in someone who places heavy demands on their hips and knees like runners or people who do manual labor jobs. That wear and tear process takes a toll on the articular cartilage in the hip or the knee as well as the bone under it. The analogy that doctors so often use is tread on a tire. The tread is the articular cartilage lining on the ends of the bones. When that articular cartilage, the tire tread, gets thinner and thinner, or even has spots where there's exposed bone, the thinking goes that you have to replace it with metal and plastic. But osteoarthritis is a disease, a low-grade chronic inflammatory state throughout your body. When you suffer an injury, your body makes and releases proteins called cytokines that go to the site of injury. Those cytokines can either be pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. Pro-inflammatory cytokines, the damaging ones, include interleukin-1 beta, tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin-6. When there's abundance of those pro-inflammatory cytokines, they cause tissue damage in whatever part of the body that is, like the hip or the knee. If you're out of balance and in some chronic inflammatory state, whether it's chronic stress, long time poor diet, some disease process that affects your immune system, you develop a situation where those pro-inflammatory cytokines recruit degradative enzymes like matrix metalloprotease or MMP. MMP degrades articular cartilage, which creates this debris of damaged cells and proteins, which stimulates an immune response to fight that, leading to more pro-inflammatory cytokines and more degradative enzymes. And all of a sudden you're in this ongoing cycle of joint destruction. Now, mesenchymal stem cells have been used in recent years for osteoarthritis, and the theory behind them involves their potential to differentiate into different types of cells, especially bone and cartilage. And while the research is still early, most studies show improvement in inflammation and pain in osteoarthritis. But rarely do studies show the development of new bone and cartilage like it was before the degeneration developed. Now, stem cells might have a role in slowing down the pro-inflammatory process we talked about a few minutes ago. Stem cells might downregulate the inflammatory signals in the osteoarthritic cartilage and trigger the repair of cartilage through various growth factors. But numerous factors have been given and cited as potential problems using stem cells to heal cartilage and protect an arthritic joint. Creating an environment in the joint for stem cells to survive has been a challenge. And there's been some concern that stem cells from older or unhealthy donors would lead to less cell proliferation and overall less effective remains. Plus, a lot of stem cell treatments rely on you undergoing a surgical procedure for the surgeon to harvest your own stem cells, and at least in the way they're prepared in the United States, there aren't huge numbers of stem cells in those preparations. Now let's turn to exosomes. Exosomes are the extracellular vesicles secreted by various cells which mediate cell-to-cell -cell communication through the contents in the exosomes, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins. And studies have shown that exosomes carry those proteins, lipids, nucleic acids like mRNA and microRNA, and that those do play important roles in the cell-to-cell -cell communications and the immune response of the cell. Now, recent studies have shown that mesenchymal stem cell-derived exosomes, the exosomes in the stem cells, they regulate cell migration, cell proliferation, cell differentiation, and the synthesis of the extracellular matrix. They contribute to the repair and regeneration of cartilage by regulating the immune system and the reaction of your immune system. They diminish what's called apoptosis or cell death, and they increase proliferation of cells, specifically the proliferation and migration of chondrocytes or the cartilage 
precursor cells. Now, a recent study looking at the use of exosomes for osteoarthritis in rats showed that exosomes alleviate cartilage damage. They reduce osteophyte formation or the development of bone spurs we often see in osteoarthritis. They inhibit pro-inflammatory M1 macrophages and promote the anti-inflammatory M2 macrophages. Exosomes in that study decreased the levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-6, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and increased the levels of the anti-inflammatory cytokine interleukin-10. Another rat study showed similar results, namely that exosomes can effectively promote cartilage repair and extracellular matrix synthesis. Clinically, they decrease the pain in the arthritic rats. Now, getting exosomes from the mesenchymal stem cells is thought to be a big potential advancement for cartilage regeneration in the treatment of osteoarthritis. In one study, researchers injected exosomes from human embryonic stem cells into the joints of people with osteoarthritis. They observed that the damage to the cartilage and subchondral bone was largely reversed by six weeks and almost completely restored 12 weeks later. They concluded that the embryonic mesenchymal stem cell exosomes could be a cell-free alternative for cartilage repair and joint-related diseases. The current trend involves the use of exosomes derived from amniotic fluid stem cells. In one recent study looking at those use, the researchers found that amniotic fluid stem cell exosomes enhanced pain tolerance and induced an almost complete restoration of hyaline cartilage with normal cartilage surface regularity. In another recent study, researchers showed that exosomes from umbilical stem cells stimulated chondrocyte proliferation and migration, those are the cartilage precursor cells, increased the synthesis of extracellular matrix and inhibited the chondrocyte cell death. They concluded, the researchers did, they concluded that exosomes from umbilical stem cells could significantly promote the repair of cartilage defects when injected into osteoarthritic joints of humans. Now, like I've said in other recent videos I've done on other modern medicine treatments like peptides, exosomes are also not currently approved by the FDA for use in osteoarthritis. And please, again, understand I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. What can we conclude from this discussion and review of the current research? Well, exosomes appear to carry out many different functions in organisms that include repair of tissue injuries, regulation of immune response, and stopping inflammation. And again, the research that's out there, it's very early but exosomes from stem cells do appear that they can protect the arthritic joint from damage by promoting cartilage repair, inhibiting inflammation of the joint lining, and mediating subchondral bone remodeling. If you have osteoarthritis in your hip or knee and you want to avoid or delay a joint replacement, maybe you talk to your doctor about injecting exosomes and whether that's a reasonable option for you. If you'd like to read the studies I mentioned in this video, I've provided links in the description below. If you like videos like this one and you want more information on recovery from injury, orthopedic injuries especially, optimal health and wellness so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be notified of new videos and live streams that I do. If you have an orthopedic injury, a sports or exercise injury, and you wanna see someone who truly knows about bone and joint injuries in athletes and active people, I'd be happy to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I'd love to talk to you about all your options to recover from whatever the injury is, not just surgery, cortisone shots, and physical therapy. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. Go to the contact page to make an appointment to see me. The link to my website and the contact information is in the description below this video. My name's Dr. David Geyer. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.